know the drill. I get dangerously high by myself, track everything I do on my notes app, and tell the story of the actual brain rotting activities I get up to. But this time, there's a little twist. Before I got high, I texted my boys group chat to ruin me tonight. They could call me, text me, or just send whatever heinous dung they can at any time throughout the night that would mess with me or just make a funny moment. So here's what happened. After eating my special gummies, the first thing I wrote down in my notes was watermelon with no melon. I guess I found this video so impressive, I just had to share it. Anyways, let me set a scene for you. As the gummies came into effect, the first thought I had to myself was, I want my big Oreos. So I walk myself downstairs into my dimly lit kitchen, fill my favorite coffee mug with warm milk, and start solemnly munching on these porcelain big Oreos, one intimate bite at a time. As it turns out, I only had three Oreos in my bag, which left me with a real problem. I got no more Oreos, but so much milk. Without thinking, I trotted up from my seat, walked over to my little tree, and poured my milk into the soil as if it was water. It took me a minute to mentally process that I had given a tree milk until it finally hit me. Wait, no. <laughs> Trees can't have milk. That's my favorite tree. What have I done? In tears, I frantically search on Google. What happens if a tree drinks milk? After a long search, I learned that milk is actually good for plants. Not just milk is good, but spoiled milk is too. It's actually a good way of making bad milk useful. So that was kind of interesting. Now I'm sitting here thinking about milk. I can't fully explain the thought process behind this moment, but I brought my ass over to YouTube and searched top 10 milk and just watch this why is it so loud why would this be the intro to top 10 milk anyways the first milk was safeway which isn't even milk it's a grocery store but i used to work there so i commented so helpful plus i love safeway this comment was a little premature though because after giving such praise 10 seconds into the video i decided to skip to the end to see what is the world's greatest milk this was a terrible mistake that turned all my praise into pure or unadulterated ray. They said the best milk is Borden. Are you joking? You have to be smoking crack to genuinely believe Borden is the best milk there is. So rationally, I replied to my original comment with a nasty and hateful reply. As I hit send on the comment, my messages start getting spammed with a constant influx of this deranged dog image coming in from five separate people. There had been an organized attack on my iPhone messages, and the dinging wouldn't stop until I got a phone call from someone with no no caller ID. I pick up the phone. Um, hello? And this is exactly what I heard back. Um, is this Borden? Do I need to repent? Do I need to repent for the sins that I spoke on your milk, Borden? And before there was a reply, my phone crashed from the constant dog images that were still going through that whole time. Holy shit, I made a terrible mistake. But then, as if God's light came shining down at me in my darkest time, as I turned my phone back on, the image of the dog had changed. He was so happy now, grinning ear to ear. It was a beautiful sight. Seeing him smile back at me gave me such a sigh of relief. So I felt I'd treat myself to a little Chipotle queso. I ordered from Postmates and the driver's name was Quentin. And I promise you, this is a detail that comes back. As I'm waiting for my Postmates, I go back on YouTube to see something that truly pissed me off. The video was called Strongest Energy Drink comparison, which I thought sounded pretty cool. I was interested in what the world's strongest energy drink was. I click on the video and every single energy drink has 320 milligrams of caffeine. Like it does not stop. The drinks just keep going and they never change. I keep thinking to myself, oh, the next one's gotta be stronger. It's not gonna be 320 milligrams of caffeine and it never is. I was blown away by the asinine shit this video was so much so that I left a hate comment and then I got a name neighborhood watch alert from the ring app that there was a shooting nearby this was one of the best things that had happened to me this night because it gave me a great idea if you didn't know the ring app has a feature where you can create a post that gets sent out to every single person that has the app in a multiple mile wide radius i had never done this before but just the thought to have that much power sending a direct message to so many people at once seemed a little too good to be true but i wanted to figure out if i could do it if it 
it was possible. First, I would have to figure out what the post was going to be. I thought back to everything that had happened to me this night. That dog with the massive grin. The Postmates driver named Quinton. Everything came together as I uploaded the dog image and gave it the title Dog Acquired and made my masterpiece. Dog alert, we found Quinton. Thank you everyone that helped look for Quinton, but you can finally stop because the search is over. Here he is, happy as ever now that he's home and safe. He must have gone on quite the adventure. I thought this post seemed pretty believable and so did the people working for Ring since my post made it through the auto moderation and was sent out to the public. This was a massive success. Not gonna lie, I felt pretty awesome after pulling off the Quentin scheme, so I went upstairs and ate more of my gummies. This would ultimately feed into a dark cycle though because once I started playing Fortnite, in between every game, I would forget that I had eaten a gummy and I would go for more. I don't know how many of these I ended up having, but I had enough that I tragically forgot the Chipotle queso waiting for me at the door that the real Quentin had delivered for me so graciously. I was just like Drake off these gummies because after I ate all of them, I was out like a light. And that's the end of the story. Subscribe. Bye.